Thank you very much. Thanks for the opportunity to be here to make this presentation. Yes, the title of the paper is um, Security Issues Migration and the Japa Syndrome in Nigeria. Uh, Corpus Assisted Critical Discourse Study of Social Media Posts. Um, of course, it's challenging that I know that I have to speak for seven minutes now. I have about 65 slides. <laughs> I thought I was going to have more, but let's see how we just uh, speak to this briefly. Yeah, I think the key word in that title is actually JAPA syndrome, the JAPA issue. And I think uh, I just established right away that when we talk about JAPA, I think what you might be closest to what you understand as JAPA is migration, but it goes beyond migration or maybe we talk more about immigration, but then Jack Barry really talks about a situation where somebody possibly lives illegally, or a situation where somebody actually uh, maybe escapes from a particular space, maybe a stifling space, a space that is uh, uh, suffocating in a way, and then feels his freedom, and then takes the opportunity to actually live. So maybe Jack Padre syndrome then again talks about uh, I think this is something that uh, this picture explains a bit of that. And the word Jack by itself has its uh, roots in one of the major languages in Nigeria. That's Yoruba language. And that's, uh, if that's the, the root of the word Jack by itself. And so it talks about this in relation to Nigeria. And here we talk about the procedures even before somebody can actually say, because Jack by today seems to have about two meanings, the initial meaning and then now a kind of extension, semantic extension where we talk about illegal uh, migration before, or emigration in that context, but today it's been normalized that you know, just all forms of uh, living or movement or migration can also be associated with that. So, yeah, I think that explains all of this. I have to keep jumping at this point. Okay, so again, uh, for, for to gather this uh, data, I had to look online to look for posts online on the issue of Jakba itself, hashtag Jakba. And then um, there's a different post about a million six hundred, there 10,000 and so on. And this uh, is a very uh, popular speaker in Nigeria and then uh, talked about this Jakba uh, issue and uh, the post alone attracted about a million four uh, posts or, or tweets and uh, so, but then what exactly is the issue or what, why was the problem we're trying to solve there? Yes, people have talked about Jack Ma and people have worked on that, but of course more in the area of political science, religious studies, and we're trying to look, bring a linguistic approach to examine this, uh, the concept of Jack Ma syndrome and why Jack Ma, and then what are the, uh, the, the intricacies involved even in the concept itself. So. And then what exactly are we trying to do? First, we want to identify, we've, have, we have tried to invest uh, some of these tweets and uh, other posts on different social media platforms. And so first, we want to identify the salient thematic force that are in the narrations. Then besides that, we we'll identify the discourse structures, features, and strategies, and then examine the implications for development in Nigeria. So uh, for this, like I said earlier on, it's just uh, more like uh, this is a pilot for now. And then because, uh, uh, the data is still uh, being collected. So here we have 7,063 representative posts on the hashtag JAPA, and then uh, for quantitative, uh, um, the methods, we're using both quantitative and qualitative. And uh, for quantitative, using Scratch Engine, and uh, for corpus analysis, and then for the theory, we depend more on the critical discourse analysis, relying on RESIG and um, uh, WODAC. Okay, so, and what are we trying to do with the, uh, Sketch ending. We're particularly looking at the keywords. I mean, the individual words or tokens which appear frequently in the uh, uh, folk or in the folk, uh, corpus. Then, basically, with the DHA, we try to identify specific concerns in the matter for the investigate discussion process, and so on. And we're relying on the five aspects of the DHA: reference, structure, nomination, predication, perspectivization, argumentation, then intensification or mitigation. So that's that here. And that takes us then to the analysis, uh, first aspect of the analysis. And like I said here, that we know that the current challenge and makes it for, for now. So this brings up the words that are mostly, uh, uh, that recall mostly, even with the word Jakba in the corpus. And uh, we have that on the following slides. Okay, 
And now to the Jakba. And this West Coach uh, showing uh, words commonly associated with Jakba itself. And so we see different words there where we talk about uh, a kind of uh, solution. People find it as, I see it as a kind of solution to their, I just have to keep moving. <laughs> okay, so now the narrative themes. The narrative themes here, now we try to uh, do that, to analyze that, and we discover that, yes, the main issue that seems to uh, uh, force people to escape now is security. And that's taking 22.4% of the data collected. And the next one is what is called state failure. That's 18% then to economy, 133 uh, education, infrastructure, and so on. And for security, you'll see different words here associated with this. Talk about a threat. Talk about and what the, uh, the, the, the uh, we call them at times Japarians, what they are asking for about this uh, security or insecurity challenge. And that's where we're talking about demanding security from the government, they're requesting security, they're stating uh, security as a threat, and so on. So um, let me keep moving and just quickly go and say a little about the aspect, the textual aspect. Okay. Now, uh, ideally, this is the typical original meaning of Jakba, where it say how we survived 14 days on ships Ruda from Nigeria to Brazil. That is illegal migration. But like I said today, it's uh, been given a semantic extension to anybody, I mean, maybe people that want to uh, uh, go for different uh, reasons. And the matter, because of uh, one area where this uh, connects with the previous study is the issue of hashtag. And with that, the matter was able to even land in the House of Assembly where they legislated and wanted to say, no, people must stop this. But of course, it was also shut down. So what then, are the, this is the second aspect. We discovered there that we have labeling. Politicians are labeled as the mess in the system. Then we have expression of frustration. We have deployment of derogatory and abusive expressions through the use of predication uh, with negative adjectives. Then we have comparison between two poles, good and bad, predication and perspectivization, and so on. The use of directness, indirectness, hashtagging grievances against the state to gain publicity. Then we have code mixing, and there we have the use of Niger and other words. So we also have the implications of this brain drain, which is loss of the best of the West, then we have relative hold on fulfillment, and so on. And so uh, the implications, we have call to action, the state, leaders, political class, citizens, look Nigerians, and then uh, basically, this what uh, uh, we were unable to quickly to talk more about this, but of course, that's uh, the aspect of the theory that we used in driving the analysis. So, I just want to conclude by saying that, um, according to the president, more persons, even as recently as January this year, which is the reason for us to still do further engagement on this, saying that uh, we have to produce more people for the West and so on. So because of my time, I think we can continue the discussion later. I just say that although the hashtag Jackpot is yet to manifest the much desired immediate change in governance, the advocacy is a continuum, and that's it. Thank you very much for your time.